Hello everyone! Welcome to another one of my Skullgirls Story Mode Commentaries! So, uh, we are gonna be checking out Umbrella for the first time fully, uh, in her story mode, in her everything, really, because she's fully out, uh, which is crazy, because she wasn't when I last played. I did play as her in beta a bit, but then, you know, I did some other things, and it was like, yeah, you know what, I think I'm going to just not worry about her till she's done, and that's what I did. I do need to do my buttons, though, because, uh, I am currently using a different controller for the first time in a while, so... We're going to do this, start select, macro macro, up down, perfect, accept that. Uh, other settings, that should all be the same, voice, I'm going to go back to the male voice, it's been a while since I used him, everyone else is the same, that's all good. Uh, I am on the PC version, just because it's the version I have at hand, even though I did the uh, Annie one in, I did the Annie one with, um, uh, the PlayStation version. So I do want to check out the uh, trials. Are her trials ready? Oh, they are, but also not. <laughs> the, that's not her symbol. That's all right. Let's let's see if we can figure out how to play as her here. So, oh, this isn't the tutorial. I'm stupid. I don't want trials. I want lessons. Tutorials, that's what I want. Right, I forgot that they're they're different in this. Alright, introducing Umbrella and her lovable monstrosity hunger and are an inseparable pair like any pet. Hunger needs care and attention. Keep a close eye on Hunger's hunger gauge. That's the one in the top corner. Uh, to see what state he's in, use it to probably dish out uh, what's important to the generous portions of pain. Uh, enjoy ice cream. Alright, tight squeeze. Excellent anti-air. So that's, yep, okay, all right, anti-air. Cliffhanger, long-range attack, uh, drops the full rate of the ancient weapon. Right, yeah, so you can go level one, level, then we got, okay, and then level three. All right, all right, that has way more levels than before. Budding Grace, mimicking a royal sister's fighting style, can use uh, hunger to float in the air until he snaps open. Okay. So holding, jumping, medium kick. Okay, so let's go. I feel like I'm doing that. Okay. There we go. I need a hit. Salt grinder. This is the good one. Hunger bites the enemy and grinds them up. A great way of extending combos while giving him the sustenance he craves. He can grind. All right, so it's quarter circle forward punch. Yep, there's that. Easy peasy. Slurp and slide. It's like a slip and slide. Um, catches on hunger and as he tears up the pavement, any sap in the way. Charge move. Medium punch. All right, oh, okay. Hunger and Rush does his best dolphin impression. Get it? It's it's May. It's Guilty Gear. Chomp tasty bad guys up to move is invincible for a short period while you perform it. Okay, so yeah. Oh, it's a grab. Interesting. Okay. Cutie patoo patoo no, cutie patooey. Okay, Hunger and spits a bubble that lazily travels and helps himself to a small snack while he's at it. The bubble will keep opponents from getting too comfortable while jumping towards you. This, there was a butterfly. Uh, Bobblin Bubble. I love the animation for this because it, it looks like the Bubble Bobble guy. Burps an intimidatingly large bubble that floats forward until... Uh, floats forward. Fo forward. At typo. Hey, hey. Look at me. I'm a tester. Causing a hit and leaving a, a gleaming pool of hunger and spittle. Can pop the balloon herself with any attack. Yeah, so... If you look at the face, it's it's Bubble Bubble. Wishmaker takes a deep breath, makes a wish, blowing bubbles up, floats forward. Well, it doesn't travel very far. Any opponent who fails the block will get trapped inside. Wrong button. And everyone has, I know, an animation for that. Tongue Twister extends the tongue along the ground, hoping to catch a meal. Holding it will extend the tongue out further. There we go. Good stuff. 
Can't grind that one. Retina Reflector. Retina Reflector. Harnesses power buys different combinations to control how far it goes. All right, so we got... Retina that one goes that far. Retina okay. Retina oh, wow. You can really send that far out. Umbrella can also smack the shield to send the eyes flying forward. They stick to the opponent. Okay. Hit an opponent with a sticky eye explosion. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. Retina reflector contact lens. Hunger release a blast of energy to blow him away, useful for breaking through. Uh, do, uh, sure you can double punch. Okay, all right. Under the weather, hunger emits a large amount of bubbles at the, uh, uh, float around, pop them whenever they make eye contact. This is gonna get messy. Ooh, that's nasty. I like it. You make the bubbles float forward or backward by holding uh, forward. Or they try to send them in different directions. This is gonna get messy. Okay, yeah. Oh, like actually straight up behind you. I thought it'd be like going slower, but no, that's straight up behind. You can hit opponents with the initial thrust upward before they descend on them. Come on. Let me get over you. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. Feeding time. Far-reaching grab that deals huge amount of damage and gives a uh, juicy morsel to savor. Core circle back double punch. Level three. Terrifying. Megan Puddles. Some of Umbrella's puddle uh, producing attacks will leave, uh, or bubble producing will leave bubbles. Hitting those with spe specific attacks will make a big splash and hits hard. All right. So we made the bubble. Yep. Catching the opponents with the air throw also traps them in the bubble. Yep. All right. Successfully does a bubble with Wishmaker. Yep. Splashing puddles. Let's make a splash. So let's do bubbling. Oh. Okay, there we go. And you standing medium punch. Oh. oh, you can kick it. Okay, okay. I didn't see that actually. Wrong button. Okay, I, I saw her other one before. That's new. So now, yeah, I've seen that one there. But I know she had a splash forward. Cool, cool, cool. Jumping media? Oh, jumping. Okay. Okay. Is, do I have to fall into the puddle? Oh my god, that's hilarious! Okay, cool! Wow! Hunger's hunger can be peckish! Uh, da, 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 da. Simple ways, throw your opponent. Okay, or oh, press it to chomp. Okay. Okay. Increase it from ravenous to satiated. Yep. Increase it from starving to satiated. Okay. Alright. Uh, notice how his body changes. Let's try a few moves that can be affected. Okay, so we'll go... Okay, now we'll Ravenous. Oh, wrong one. A lot less. While starving. While overstuffed. Oh, wow! Okay, that's a new sound. Notice how much slower he is when starving and overstuffed and how much faster when Ravenous. Keep you hungry and fed is crucial to load the attacks. Now that you're uh, familiar with some hunger pen and normals, let's try a special. All right, so, well... Okay, that's normal. Now Ravenous goes through. Starving. Less far. Overstuffed. I can't tell much of the difference. The way the opponent falls, or if they fall at all. Oh. Okay. Well, many attacks have different uh, levels based on how well fed he is. Uh, being hungry isn't strictly detrimental. Experiment with different levels and find what's best. Let's wrap up by seeing how a super can change. Okay, so, well, satiated, ravenous, starving, 
Oh, that sucks. Overstuffed? Okay, different sizes. Yeah. Some normal attacks can behave differently. It's important to know they can affect your combos and strings. Try a simple combo and observe the differences. Yep. Okay, now we got... Okay. We got one, two... Oh, yeah, starving sucks. Huh. Yeah, okay. Depending on the stats, attacks can vary in terms of starting, time up, recovery length, how much stun they put. Uh, when starving, attacks are slow. When ravenous, attacks are fast and less recovery. When satiated, attacks are balanced. Whatever stuff, attacks are slow but powerful. Umbrella will steadily lose recoverable health while hunger and starling, so don't let them... Okay, okay. Let's try another sequence with kick normals. Okay. I didn't do the crouching, that's why. Again, the difference is pretty minimal. Oh, that's why. Normal attacks using kick are unaffected. Okay. Feeding hunger. And gotta feed him. Okay, so this. Chomp five times. Okay. So each chunk there. Uh, attacks where hunger and get a taste of his opponent will feed him, making him chomp and grind while he has him in a mouth and control what state he's in. Naturally, extra choose means extra damage. So salt grinder. Churn the butter, right? Love churning butter. Give it a chance to feed. We got this one. Whoops. I, I, I gotta remember to, to do the actual eating part. Alright, that's some good damage though. Wow. Yum! Mid-air throw gives a taste. Bloop. Good stuff. I do like her voice a lot. It's fun. Did you notice the butterfly? Watch it again. Okay. Haha, <laughs> she said it. Oh! Cutipitu may not produce a bubble, but the butterfly does provide a small bit of sustenance without needing to catch the opponent. Huh! This is an important tool. Using it hungered back to a quicker ravenous state while slippery opponents are... Huh, okay. When using this move but holding it, it'll dodge and be spared. That's why I was staring. Uh, you notice that attacks uh, with the tongue will feed him. Feeding time is no different. In fact, the hungry is more damage. Okay, so feeding time, if he's starving... That's half HP. Jeez. Keeping hunger and well-fed has its advantages. Various moves will use up hard-earned um, energy reserves. Okay, so... Bubblin' Bob. That uses... That uses it. Okay. Wishmaker. Yep, that uses it. Okay. Under the weather. Yep. That uses a lot, actually. All right. Uh, now that you managed to uh, know how to manage your thing, time to give a taunt? Yes, taunt's important. In fact, your taunt can be held indefinitely, making a useful tool. Okay, frick, I, I hate... I hate hat full circles. So full circle... Oh, it's a grab! Okay, at least there's that. Right? At least... At least it's a grab so it makes sense for the motion, right? That's fun. That's fun. Okay. I like it. Cool. We won't do her her stuff there. Uh, one thing I do want to do, though, is I want to go to... No, you know what? We'll, we'll hold on to that for after, actually, because we're going to unlock some stuff. Let's do her story mode here. That's what most people are probably here for. All right. Uh, and this is not voiced yet. Uh, same with Annie's. The voice acting will be added once the season pass is done, which I think is a fair way to handle it. Uh, and that's when I'll do a video without me talking. <gasps> Look at her doodle! Hi, I'm Umbrella Renoir. Apparently my last name is a big deal because it means princess of a whole country. Cool, right? Wrong. It's super annoying. You think being a princess means I get to be in charge, but instead everyone else bosses me around over every little thing I do. And the bossiest of them all is my big sister, Parasol. <laughs> yeah, that's her, all right. She's the coolest big sister there is, but she's also a big jerk who never lets me have any fun. She's been working hard every day since mom died to make kingdom a better place, being a bad guys and kicking butt in the name of justice. Isn't that awesome? So why how come Chuck, why doesn't she let me come with her? I want to kick butt in the name of justice too. 
being a princess sucks and being a little sister is even worse. This is hilarious because, of course, it's like she was planned to be in, like, the base roster. And it literally feels like it took until now for her to get permission. <laughs> That's the noise it makes. Well, it's not all bad. There's at least one cool thing about being a princess. I get an umbrella that talks. Why don't you introduce yourself, Hungern? <laughs> oh, it's a hell beast. Great job, Hungern. He says he's pleased to eat you. I, I'm, I'm sure he means pleased to meet you. Everything hunger and everyone says hunger is a horrifying weapon of unfathomable power, but he's actually a big slobbery cutie and my best friend. <laughs> That's right, we're unbeatable and adorable. We can kick bad guy butt just as hard as Parasol can. In fact, might be better considering Parasol's tier enlisting place. You know what I'm saying? I have no idea what I'm saying. I have Skull Girl's tears don't matter. Everyone's good. Yeah, we can even beat up the Skull Girl. Not to brag, but guess what? That's exactly what we did. It all started with Parasol to side take us to the boardwalk. Oh? Yeah, this stage is great. I don't know why you insist on wearing your raincoat on a clear day. Do you really want to spend our one afternoon together at a boardwalk in that stuffy outfit? Obviously, it's way cooler than that tacky princess. Ah, uh, but okay, but her dancing outfit is pretty cute, though. Can we agree? Also, these are both new talking frames. Besides, if I wore something fancy, Hunger would just drool all over it anyway. Then you'd get super duper big sister mad at me. Hungern is your responsibility. That means making sure it doesn't drool, doesn't cause a scene, and doesn't eat anything or anyone it isn't supposed to. Ah, uh, rude. Hungern would never eat people. Would you, Hungern? <laughs> See how look at how much he agrees. He's even drooling. Uh, every day I wonder if bestowing you with Hungern was truly the right decision. Yeah, right? I feel like maybe the... Not giving her the weapon of unfathomable power is probably the best choice. Come on, how am I supposed to have fun without my best friend? Hungern is not a toy or a pet. I gave it to you for your own protection, so if you insist on feeding it, at least hu limit Hungern's diet to proper food only. Boring. Why'd you give me a living weapon if I'm not allowed to fight? Believe me, if there was any other way to make sure. Never mind, for now Hungern is only to be used for self-defense. I told you he wouldn't eat people, but fine, he's happy eating garbage anyway. Peeing at garbage for entertainment is not an acceptable use of a family heirloom. Come on, why not? Hunger loves garbage. Garbage is not food. I don't know, have you been to McDonald's? Waka waka. It's food for some things, like raccoons and hunger. Absolutely not. Its breath smells bad enough already. Oh, it must stink. Roger that, Princess Commander-in-Chief of the No Fun Police. That is not my rank. That's the problem. Besides, we're having fun right now. We're at the boardwalk. There are games, ice cream, and rides. We're surrounded by fun. <sighs> we're still arguing like we always do. We could go on a ride. That's fun. Although, come to think of it, they don't look very safe. Maybe we could play a game instead. Throwing balls up a slope or firing a cork gun at stuffed animals seems to be considered fun by the people here. Sis, you're great at beating up bad guys and keeping the kingdom safe, but you suck at having fun. I wish you'd taken us to jail instead. I want to see that cool Geigen lady from TV. Oh, man. There's a couple people on my Discord who are, like, diehard Scythana fans, and they're like, we want her in. It's not gonna happen. We haven't had sister time for far too long. We could spend it doing something fun and wholesome together, not gawking at society's miscreants. But I want sister time where you're doing cool stuff, fighting bad guys and saving the kingdom. That work is serious, dangerous, and- Wait, someone's calling me. What is it? I told you not to interrupt today. I'm with Umbrella and we're having fun. What? The Skull Girl in New Meridian? Ready the egrets. I'm on my way. I get to see you fight the Skull Girl! It's the best day of my life! I'll be so good! Best behavior your hunger into! Absolutely not. It's much too dangerous. I'm arranging to have you evacuated back to Canopolis immediately. What? Ah, boo! It's the worst day of my life. We didn't even get ice cream. Look at those eyes! It's the meme eyes. Also, she's doing crossed arms, which gives me big, uh, like, gunbuster energy. Okay, Umbrella, listen to me. If you are very good, do not go anywhere else and wait right there at the ice cream stand for the egrets to pick you up. You can have as much as you want. Hunger wants ice cream too. All of it. Just this once, Hunger can have all he can eat. Up to one gallon. Do not talk to anyone else. Go to the ice cream shop only and only to the ice cream shop. Am I clear? Yeah, Crystal. I'm on my way. 
Sure was a lot of talk about sister time for someone who doesn't spend any time with her sister. Ah, that's <sighs> fine. Let's see what flavors they'd have. I'd love some salted caramel, get it? Because she's the Morton Salt Girl. Who's working the stand? Oh, hi, Philia. Oof. <laughs> Hunger and stomp, no chompies. Sorry, he never bites. He does bark a lot, but he doesn't try to bite people most of the time. I mean, he bites at people. He's not trying to eat them or anything. There was one time where he tried to eat a cat, though, but he wasn't that serious about it because, I mean, if he had, oh boy, that cat would be... I, can I help you, little girl? Are you lost? No, I can find my way around just fine. We're getting ice cream. Ice cream, eh? <laughs> that hit the spot right now. We never did finish that milkshake. We don't have time for treats, Samson. We have to find Carol and the Skull Girl. Who are you talking to? Whoa, there's a monster in your head. Samson, that's why I told you to be quiet. That's so cool. How did it happen? Where's your brain? Is doing your hair hard? You're full of questions, aren't you? Well, I don't remember. I don't even want to think about it, and yes. Cool, seems like it'd be fun. It isn't as fun as it looks. Trust me, kid, the ultimate alternate would have been worse. And if you've seen the alternate, which is the, uh, the... It was on the Skullgirls poll for characters. It was playable Samson with, like, Philia basically treated as, like, a floating, like, just appendage. Yeah, the alternate would have been worse. If Hunger lived in my head... I'd be able to eat 10 gallons of ice cream in one bite. That'd be worth having weird hair. Wait, did you just say Hungern? As in Hungern, insatiable devourer of people, army, civilizations, everything in between? Ah, uh, you must have him confused with someone else. Hunger's my best friend and a big sweetie. My big sister says he doesn't think or have feelings, but he talks to me, mostly about how he's hungry. You better not be a bad guy because he eats evildoers for breakfast. And lunch. And also dinner. Change of plans, Philia. We're gonna have to be the bad guys this time. Oh, yeah, because I we don't really know anything about hunger, so this is interesting. What, Samson? No, I'm not gonna fight a little girl. Trust me, hunger is more dangerous than you can imagine. I don't know how she got a hold of it, but we gotta stop it now before it eats that kid in half of New Meridian. Oh, it's a horrible, unspeakable evil. All right, this is fun. It doesn't look that dangerous, just gross. But if if even you think it's that serious. Sorry, kid, little girl. I'll be taking that umbrella. What, you want to fight for real? Cool, let's go! The two of us are the two of you! We'll show Sis how we can handle ourselves just fine. Here we go, battle time. You're nice, but your hair's a jerk. Alright. I love this stage, too, by the way. It's so good. Oh, oh good face. Oh, I'm not used to her range. Okay, real talk, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but maybe they should remove... Maybe... Oh, I'm, just, I'm not you, sir. Maybe they should remove uh, Parasol from over there, you know? Okay. Whoa, okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm get I'm getting used to her again, right? It's 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 been a hot minute. Okay, I'm learning. Okay, okay, that's fine. No, we're learning. We're learning. Plus, again, this is a new controller for me, so I'm 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 picking it up one more time, right? It's it's I'm kind of learning from scratch. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to try a couple different moves here. There we go. Okay. I will say just just naturally, I don't know. I'm I'm feeling she's a bit a bit more difficult than Oh, that Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, wait, wait that's sick. Okay, I, I, she she's a bit less beginner friendly, I'm going to say than um uh like Annie. Annie felt very Beginner friendly. Yeah, get her in there. Okay. Sick. Okay, that works. Yeah. 
it's very much sort of relearning her after like I played her when she first came out and did some cool stuff. Also, she was brutally overpowered when she first came out, obviously. Uh, but now it's like, yeah, re relearning a lot of how to play this with her. Yay, we actually did it. Oh, wow, she's messed up. I knew the whole time there was no chance they could beat us, and I wasn't even scared a little bit. What is that thing? How could it be that powerful or that gross? Yeah, no kidding. I've never met a monster like this one. You said you knew all about that living weapon. Not the umbrella, the kid. Hunger and eats life energy so fast she should be dead just for being close to him for this long. If she's still standing, she's more of a freak than he is. Wow, huh? How'd the two of you learn your lesson? You can't attack random people for no reason. Even if it is really fun. Are you sure you're okay? Samson says that weapon you have is dangerous to you and everyone around you. He's not dangerous. Well, at least not to me. And you two aren't hurt too bad, are you? Oh no, which is another surprise. Your self over there sure is hunger and well trained. What Samson meant to say is he's very sorry and he won't do anything bad ever again. Yay, we saved the day! Wait till Parasol heals, but she was on the beach. She was just right there. Parasol? That name sounds familiar. Isn't she some kind of royalty? Wow, um, how about we drop that subject and pick up some ice cream instead? My sister's paying. It's a lot of slobber. He might not be dangerous, but he's pretty gross. Hey, don't be mean. Hunger isn't gross. He's the cutest. Cute? Oh, wait, no, sorry. I keep, I keep being Samson when it's Philia. Cute him? <laughs> he sound like Carol when she talked about my dog. He was super gross, but she loved him so much. Wait, dog? Yeah, this is new. What dog? What dog? Yeah, huh. Easy, kid. Don't force it. Carol was super important to me, and she's in big trouble. I wish I could remember more. Maybe then I'd be able to find her. What does she look like? Does she have a cool... Does she look cool to have a weird monster in her head like you? Maybe we could keep our eyes out for her. When I ran into her earlier, it was like she was being controlled by someone. They hooked spinning blades to her spine and turned her into some kind of nightmarish weapon. Wow, so she looks even cooler than you do! That's one way to put it. Still, if you do see her, let her know I'm looking for her. Just be careful. She isn't herself these days. It was nice fighting you, too! I promise I'll help your friend if I ever see her. They were nice, weren't they? You want ice cream? Let's go get some! Sorry, sold out. Come back tomorrow. What? How did they sell it already? Yeah, of course. Can't fight the Skullgirl in an empty stomach. Eat up, fellas. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, that was the wrong one. I ain't no fair. You goons cut in line and you can't hog all the ice cream. That one there doesn't have, even have a mouth. Lenny, it's okay. Don't listen to her. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Now, look what you did. I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. Wait, you look familiar. Like, almost like some kind of princess. Uh, no, not me. No princess here. Well, gotta go. Enjoy your ice cream. Bye. Kind of mix up voices, whatever. It's not my job. Stop complaining, we aren't lost, just taking the scenic route. Besides, it's the city's fault. I bet we would have caught up to my big sis already if all these buildings weren't in the way. Hey, that's it. If we climb them, then fighting Parasol should be easy. I'm so smart, if we hurry, we'll probably get there in no time to see her fight the Skull Girl. I've climbed plenty of trees, so a skyscraper's no sweat. Just think of it like a really tall tree made of metal and rocks. Wow. See, Hunger, and this is easy. Oh, these uh, buildings are really tall. My hands are getting tired. Whoa. Don't worry, I gotcha. Whee! There you go, kiddo, safe and sound. You know, climbing buildings is pretty dangerous. Why don't you leave the acrobatics to the professionals? Wow, you're strong. Wow, cool outfit. Wow, cool hat. Are you part of the circus? You got it. If you promise to be a good girl and not climb buildings, I'll give you a free ticket to see me do my stuff under the big top. Really? Okay, I promise. I've always wanted to see the circus, but my sister won't let me. She says it's run by the Medici Mafia and they're super bad. They kidnap people, beat up anyone who cross them, and organize crimes. That's even worse than regular crime. Maybe your sister's been watching a little too much TV. The news love stories about the big scary Medici, but in real life they're nothing like that. Really? I thought organizing crime was bad. The Medici's have, might have a scary reputation, but they aren't bad guys. Take Vitaly, for instance. All he organizes is the circus. Is that big a cry? Is that a big cry? I don't know. After, after hearing what some of them do to the elephants and stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> what did I just say? What did I just say? Just don't ask how we got the elephants. I guess any crime involving elephants is a big crime, but that doesn't seem like a very bad one. See, you get it. A circus makes everyone's life more fun. It's a win-win. A way better deal than anything that snobby royal family ever gave us. Oh, 
They love to make a big show of keeping the peace, but who's actually out in the streets helping people? Not their fancy egrets, that's for sure. Sarabella, are you done playing with that child? Need I remind you we have a life gem to procure? Ugh, no, Eliza. Then what are you- Wait, Hunger? And what is she doing with a Renoir weapon? Hey, it's been great talking to you, and I'm glad Hunger is getting the recognition he deserves, but we should really get going. What are you talking about? She's just a little kid. Oh, my dear Sarabella, don't you recognize a member of the royal family that you, the royal family you so despise? This little girl must be Princess Umbrella Renoir. She's worth almost as much as Lorenzo's precious life gem. Little girl, how would you let you see the circus right now? Ah, uh, no thank you. You're extremely scary. Oh, what a pity, Sarabella. Why don't you and I show our darling princess some traditional Medici hospitality? But she's just a kid. She didn't have anything to do with... Is that so? So you don't think her family should pay for the war that destroyed your home country? Sorry, I can't remember. Was it France's war or Nancy's rampage that left you orphaned and then begging for scraps? It's so hard to keep tra track of Renoir atrocities. Wait, they did what? Well, she doesn't know. Oh, we got some history writing going on. But you're right, the Renoir children are surely innocent. Remind me... How many of your friends did it Parasol and her egrets arrest in her last raid? She hasn't done anything yet. Her family's the one who should pay. And with the daughter of royalty as our bargaining chip, we can make them pay quite handsomely. Think of all the good you could do with just a small portion of what the Renoirs keep for themselves. We don't have to hurt a hair on her head. Sorry, kiddo. This isn't about you. I knew we could count on you, darling. I thought you were nice, but you're just another bad guy. We're not scared of you! Well, well, I'm not scared of you being hunger and won't lose. All right, let's do this. Have an appetizer, hunger. Now for the main course. All right. And gentlemen, it's I love this stage still, man. It's so good. Cool. Okay. So the bubbles don't seem to actually hit like OTG there, which is what I kind of want them to do. Yeah, I love that. That's the good stuff. Oh, I love that move. Okay. I keep forgetting it's quarter circle back for the bubble. Okay. Oh! You are broken. Can't really block that, so. Stop that! You keep doing it! It's okay, we're gonna work on getting to level 3 there. Ah, oh, I couldn't even get it. I was too much of a gamer. Alright, I'm starting I'm starting to feel her buttons, right? Starting to feel them, starting to understand. We did it. We beat the bad guys, right? Impossible. How could I lose to a child? I'll show you how serious I can be. I'm sure your family will pay just as handsomely for you if you're missing a limb or two. Oh, punched her away. Oh, give it a rest. You knocked her out? Please, you're not really a bad guy, are you, Sarabella? I can't believe what I'm hearing this from the daughter of that tyrant and his genocidal monster of a wife. Oh, what a joke. Whatever, there's no point in yelling at a kid. Even you don't deserve what Eliza's planned for you. Get out of here before she wakes up or I change my mind. Wait. Was that the scary lady? What was that scary lady saying before? Did mom and dad really do those things? Aren't we the good guys? I actually do remember hearing about in some of the Skullgirls world building stuff that like in universe, the egrets are played up as quite, uh, there's quite a bit of propaganda saying that they're the good guys. You're a kid. You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Go on, run. Stop calling me a kid. Jeez, you just about my sister. Never ask anyone to tell me about anything. Call me a kid and change the subject. I mean, you're at least honest, even if you hate my family. Even the Renoir's own kid is sick of lies, huh? Fine, I warned you. So your parents meant to do good, huh? Too bad that's not what they did. 
Maybe your dad didn't mean to start a war and your mom might may, might not have meant to turn the, into the Skull Girl and kill everyone and turn them into zombies, but they still did anyway. But dad was just trying to stop the fighting. He wanted to stop the fighting. He wanted the war in the first place, then sabotage the peace talks. Some good guy who was nothing but a greedy tyrant. But mom wished to end the war. That was the whole point of a wish, pure wish to make it all better. Maybe the queen really did feel bad about the war Fran started, but maybe she made it a hundred times worse. It only ended after a bloodbath that cost thousands of lives and ruined countless more. Maybe that's what it took to stop that tyrant. But if you ask me, there's no way she could have made a selfish wish. Your mom turned into the worst Skullgirl anyone can remember. Wow, it's almost like there's no way to make a pure wish on the skull heart, and that's kind of the thing. Everything good they did for you and your kingdom came at a price, and it was people like me and my family who paid it. You're lying. Stop. They would never do that. You're the one who wanted to hear it, remember? I knew this was a waste of time. I don't feel any better at all. Just bitter. Uh, uh oh. She's waking up. Get out of here. I'm serious this time. Uh, we got away from the scary skeleton lady, at least, but now we're really lost. <laughs> I know I'm hungry too, but more than hungry, I'm mad. I can't believe someone who's so nice and strong would work for someone so bad. It's all mixed up. She's talking like we're the bad guys. Parasol says bad people are just selfish and greedy, but I wonder if sometimes they do bad stuff because they think they're the good guys. I thought you'd have to be pretty dumb to mix up good and bad, but it sounds like mom and dad and Parasol did it all the time. Why didn't they just do good things in the first place instead of doing bad things and expecting good things to happen? That doesn't make any sense! Good guys are supposed to do good things and beat up bad guys! Why don't grown-ups get something so obvious? Uh, I don't even know if I want to find Parasol or even go home anymore. This child's being mind-broken. Uh-oh, Hungern. You got the, uh, you got the Tsukihime lines on you. <laughs> We can find food somewhere else. Maybe we can eat garbage. Hey, yeah, my boy! I love you! Hey there, little lady. What are you doing all by your lonesome out here? You lost? You should go home. It's dangerous. You never know where the Skull Girl will show up next. Do you need, need uh, help finding your mom? My mom died after becoming the Skull Girl, so I don't really need any help finding her or anything. Pretty sure I know where she is. Oh, wow. I'm uh, really sorry, kid. Uh, what about your dad? Where's he at? If you don't like hearing about what happened to my mom, you're not going to like the answer to that question any better. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> that's that's such a perfect face. Well, uh, what about your... Oh, wait, I'm not making the same mistake again. Anyways, slice it. Kid like you shouldn't be out here alone. Look, mister, I'm trying to have an existential crisis here, and it's really hard when you won't leave me alone. Why do you care anyway? Why? Because I'm Beowulf, wrestling star, friend to all children, and enemy of evil. I'm on a comeback streak to take New Meridian by storm. I will never have Kai Kennedy's beautiful voice, and I'm sorry, Kai, but you... It's fine. Beow who? You know Beowulf! Everyone loves Beowulf! Are you supposed to be famous or something? C come on, it's me, the wrestling star Beowulf, the hero who slew Grendel and his mother too on live TV! I've never seen you on TV, and I watch a lot of TV. Kids these days is why my comeback is more important than ever. This generation needs inspiration. <laughs> Holy smokes, what sort of freakish beast is that? Don't worry, I'll save ya. Um, that's not what's happening. That's not even close to what's happening. Hunger is just... I can see the headlines now. Beowulf saves little girl from monster. I'm back, baby. He's just hungry and, you know, I, I don't feel like you're trying to... I'm, I don't feel like trying to correct you anymore. You asked for it, mister. Hope you like it extra salty. I love these stupid fights. Let's do that. What was that noise? Ladies what? What was that meant to be? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. See, I'm, I'm starting to feel it for sure. Whoop. My man's, my man's wrestling a little girl. I'm shocked that that worked. Ah! I was gonna try and launch him into that, but I didn't even really need it. 
<laughs> it literally doesn't know. Open yet to be playable one day. Sorry, I tried to save you from that, uh, cute pet you got there. It's a real head full of the mouthful. Thank Mr. Beowulf. <laughs> I like a uh, Mr. Beowulf. I love that name. Wherever you are, I feel a little better after beating you up. Uh, like I said, the name's Beowulf. B-E-O-W-U-L-F. But I'm glad I could help. As long as you learn your lesson, don't you know uh, how to try to help just makes things worse? I know, it's too pessimistic for a kid to say. Sounds like you need a bit of Beowulf magic to cheer you up. You, you've got even less of a chance of saving me from bummers than you do hunger. Unless you know a way of going back in time to stop my parents from being big idiots who cause problems on purpose. Hey, you're a grown-up, aren't you? You're like super old and retired. The wolf never tires and will never retire. I'm on the way to a comeback. Oh, cool. So that's a yes. Why do good people do bad things? You're a grown-up, so you should know the answer, right? Uh, whew, I don't really know the answer to big questions like that, but I'll tell you what I do know. You can't change the past no matter how much you want to. The only thing you can do is look to the future with a burning passion in your heart and do the best you can with what you've learned. Even if what's done is done, there's a future out there counting on us. You can do right by your folks by not making their same mistakes. Wow, that actually makes sense. It was almost kind of inspiring. You should be on TV. I, I can't stress this enough. I was literally on TV. Uh, maybe that's why Parasol doesn't think fighting bad guys is fun, because Dad did it all the time and it turned out really bad. If she trusted me, she wouldn't have to worry about me and I could take care of myself. I'm great at beating up random strangers. And what if Parasol starts acting like Mom and Dad and ends up doing something terrible because she wanted to protect me? I can't let that happen. That's pretty much what happens in her story. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. Big Old Wolf, but I gotta go. Hope you get famous someday. Uh, like I said, I'm already famous! Ugh. Hunger and shh. I know you're hungry, but if the Egrets hear you, they'll drag us home and we won't get to talk to Parasol. We need to talk to her. I'm mad about the lying and her going off to fight this skull girl without me, but this is even more important. Parasol's always trying to do everything by herself, just like Mom when she tried to stop Dad. That's why we ended up fighting each other instead of working together. Am I really going to have to save her the same way someday? No way, we can't let that happen. I'm going to convince her we need to take on the skull girl together this time. Look, there she is. Oh, new art. You're positive the Skull Girl's around here? How did we lose her? What's wrong with the Theonite detectors? And you still haven't found Umbrella? This is a disaster. If I had known having fun would be so difficult, I would have practiced having it sooner. Jeez. Perhaps then she wouldn't have run off. Uh, forgive us, Princess. We're still searching, but... Hey, sis, you find the Skull Girl yet? Uh, umbrella, how did you get here? I got lost. The Skull Girl just destroyed Medici Tower. You need to get to safety immediately. Wait, listen, I want to help this time. I knew I shouldn't have left you alone. This is all my fault. I'm gonna make I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. Adam, escort Umbrella home. Take a regiment with you. Hey, I'm not leaving. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Uh, Princess, I know you're worried, but we don't have anyone we can spare. I don't care what it takes to keep her safe. This family has lost enough. Listen to me. Oh, she has the eyes already. <laughs> oh, boy. Umbrella, what's wrong? Your eyes. Nothing's wrong with me. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to let you get rid of me. This isn't a game, Umbrella. You could get hurt. You could get hurt, dummy. Did you ever think about that, huh? You keep telling me I have to stay home, but Hunger and me are super strong. We can beat up any bad guys. I bet we're stronger than you. Where did this power come from? This shouldn't be possible. Hunger should be suppressing it. Oh, that's why. Hunger is existing to feed off her skull girl energy. Listen to me, Umbrella. You can't fight like this. That power isn't safe. Yeah, then make me. Forgive me, Umbrella. I don't care how much you, how much you hate me as long as you're safe. I'll protect you even from yourself. I don't need your protection, and I'll prove it. Are we gonna get the voice pack? No, nope. it's I'm I feeling like they're gonna switch the Skull Girl voice pack at some point while we're playing. I really don't like her little running thing there.
There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. There we go, boom bam. So that can That's good. I, I I hear that that reflects every projectile, and that's really good. Why do you have a gun? That's not good. When did Umbrella become so powerful? This shouldn't be possible. Is there nothing I can do to save her from Mother's Curse? See, we can take care of ourselves just fine if we're stronger than you. You don't need to protect us. Please, Umbrella, you have to understand how dangerous the Skull Heart is. That power of yours is the exact reason you can't go anywhere near it. You're just trying to get rid of me. Why won't you let me help? I'm not there to protect you. You'll do something stupid like Mom and Dad did. What, what do you know about what Mother and Father did? They made difficult choices and didn't put their feelings before their duty to the kingdom. But that's not the whole story, you liar. Apparently everyone but me knows that Dad did a bunch of war crimes and Mom was the worst skull girl ever. No, that's not true. Yes, they made mistakes, but it's not that simple. It seems pretty simple to me. Dad started a war to protect the kingdom, but wars don't protect anyone. Then Mom sacrificed herself to protect us from the war and Dad sacrificed himself to protect us from her. In the end, nobody protected anybody. They did the entire opposite of that and now it's just you and me. Damn it, Umbrella, I don't have time for this. When's it gonna be time then? Is it gonna be after you get yourself killed and leave me all alone just like Mom and Dad did? No, I would... I would never leave you. Liar. If you won't protect yourself and you won't let me help, what am I supposed to do? Just sit in the castle while you risk your life till you lose it? If that's how it's going to be, then I wish we weren't sisters. I'd be fine on my own and you'd never have to worry about me again. Umbrella, wait. I knew this day was going to come. Why should it have to be today of all days? Princess, we can find the Skull Girl. The Eurits will understand if you need to talk to her yourself. No. Thank you, Adam, but I can't be selfish and put my feelings before the kingdom. I'm not sure I deserve a second chance to talk to her anyway. Dang. I was so mean. Sis is never going to want to see me again. Oh, she's crying. Ew, hunger, and stop looking at my face at tickles. Thanks, you always know how to make me feel better. I just wanted to help her. I wanted her to understand she didn't want to, She didn't have to keep doing everything alone. I thought I was helping, but I just made everything ten times worse. I guess our family's just super good at that. Maybe it's hopeless. Hey, what's that noise? Is someone there? Keep searching. A massive Theonite surge was detected within the three-block radius of this point. The Skull Girl must be here. And yet, there are high Theonite readings near the Grand Cathedral. A curious contradiction. We'll continue search, but what am I doing here? Oakus Parasite. Whoa, wrong one. I read the wrong word. Pain Will, you're especially resistant today. That encounter with the Skull Girl and her follicle parasite has you distracted. Hey, are you... Ah, uh, never mind, scary lady made of spikes! The Skull Girl- No, it's just a kid. You're not who I'm looking for. Uh, you're looking at me kind of weird. Who are you mumbling to? Aren't you a little too old to have an imaginary friend? My orders are to look for the Skull Girl. No, wait, I'm looking for a friend. My best friend, her name is Philia. Oh, I met her earlier today! You must be who she was trying to find! Wait, that girl, what are these readings? Their signature matches the Skull Girls. I will interrogate the subject personally. You, child, who are you? Ah, uh, your imaginary friend is real! I see, you're the youngest Renoir. That means your mother. <laughs> you were exposed during fetal development. Fascinating. Okay, so I was kind of stuck between. I was kind of stuck between did it happen before? Or, dear, like, was it a spell that's making this, like, a curse? Or, hmm, interesting. You have something in common with this girl, Pain Wheel. Though it's the results of a more natural process. Is she has skull girl blood, just like you. Hey, that's my brain. Get out of here. An opportunity like this couldn't be more perfect. Bring her back for analysis. No, I won't fight her. I'm not gonna let you make her like me. I'm afraid you don't have a choice in the matter. I'm exerting direct control this time. Initiate Protocol Zero. Please, he's controlling me. Stop me. Please, you can't let him get to you too. Your imaginary friend is a big bully. Sorry if this hurts, but I won't let him boss you around anymore. 
I'm gonna beat your head so hard your imaginary friend gets out of there. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's cute! I love seeing these animations for the first time. Did she go mlem? Did she actually say mlem? It's adorable. Okay, so they have to be above you for that to work. Okay. Oh, that missed. Okay, yeah, I'm enjoying it now. I'm enjoying it now. I'm getting into it. I'm feeling it. So good. So good. So good. Brawr, that's my noise. Why are you still resisting direct control? Come on, angry lady, don't let that shadowy jerk control you. What is this interference resonance between their skullgirl blood? It's breaking the link. Pain will obey. Brarg! My name is Carol. Grr there he goes. Goodbye. Ow. Are you okay, angry lady? That scream was super loud. I think so, at least brain drain isn't in my head anymore. You're really scary, but the nice lady with the mean hair said you were a good person, so I believed in you. Who? Philia? She really said that? Yeah, she was super worried about you. Oh, my name's Umbrella. You okay? Like the princess? My name's Carol, but you probably already knew that from how loud I yelled it before. Your friend there hits pretty hard, but it's nothing compared to what it felt like having brain drain stomping around in my head. Oh no, sorry about hunger, and he doesn't really know how to hold back. But it's really nice when you get to know him. Do you want to sit down? I'm really tired too. I had a big fight with my sister because I can't control my unfathomable dark power. I love how nonchalant she is. Oh, this is cute! Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds terrible. That unfathomable dark power is pretty cool, I guess, but fighting with my sister sucks. She's super good at kicking butt and doing the right thing, but we never seem to agree about anything. See, it sounds like you care her about, her about her a lot, even if you fight. I do, except I was a big jerk to her and caused her a ton of problems and ran away. Wow, dang, we're really suki hime it up, aren't we? I don't think she's ever going to want to see me again. I wanted her to listen to me, so I yelled and screamed exactly what I thought as loud as I could, which didn't work for some reason. It might sound odd coming from me, but yelling and screaming doesn't usually help solve problems. Uh, I know, I just didn't know what else to do. Fights like that are hard, but... I think after a big fight, if she really loves you, she'll forgive you. I guess that's true. Even though my big sis is a big jerk sometimes, we make up at the end, eventually. After we have another big fight about it. That sounds a lot like my parents. They're really strict and overprotective, but I know it's out of love, even when it's a bit too much. I wish I could go see them, but I don't know if I can ever go back to them while looking like this. Of course you can! Yeah, you look like a freaky porcupine helicopter death machine, but it's not your fault. Plus, they got a daughter that can fly now! If they don't think that's the coolest thing ever, they're stupid. Yeah, maybe. I hope you're right. Umbrella, there you are! You have to come with me right now! We need to get you out of here! What? Why? Where's Parasol? The Skull Girl completely overwhelmed our forces. Some kind of shape-shifting monster took us by surprise and separated us from Parasol. She told us to evacuate the city while she held off the Skull Girl. Please, you have to come now. We can't, she can't hold the Skull Girl off forever. No, this is exactly what I said was going to happen. Sorry, Adam, I can't go with you. I need to save Parasol. Umbrella, you can't. She warned us that the Skull Heart is especially dangerous to you. I know this is hard, but don't let her sacrifice be in vain. I don't want her to make a sacrifice at all. I'm not going to end up. I'm not going to let her end up the same way Mom and Dad did. Do you really want Parasol to die? Of course I don't, because <laughs> he's got a crush on her. I know all too well what happened to the king and queen. I never want Parasol to experience anything like that ever again. Then what are you, were you waiting for? Being around the Skullheart is so dangerous, I trust Parasol to save me just like I'm going to save her. Might be risky, it might be dangerous, and she might yell at me again, but at least we have a chance to be both alive by the end, so I'm going no matter what. There's nothing I could do to change your mind, is there? If I can't stop you, then the Black Egrets are going with you. Let's save Parasol together. Wait, let me come too. I was made to fight the Skull Girl. Yay, more friends! See, everything will work out if we believe in ourselves or whatever. Let's go. 
I love how fast she's like I, I that's just how I'm reading her writing, but she seems to be just going going fast with it, right? Come in, Egret, Smalley, Adam, Roxy, Panzer Faust, is anyone there? Double has already suppressed them. I can defeat you all on my own, Skull Girl. I've been training for this day for seven years. I thought you would appreciate it and end the Medici rot infesting this city. And you expect me to believe it'll end there? There's only one fate for a Skull Girl, no matter how noble you might think yourself. I know that all too well. Your mother's fate still weighs on you, I see. Too much for us to see eye to eye. What do you know about her? Only that she fought against fate for as long as she could. And that she left behind a daughter that will share her same end. No, she will not. I took precautions to make sure that would never happen. Then you understand, underestimate the power of the Skullheart. I can feel her power growing and the Skullheart calling for her in turn. Queen Nancy would pale in comparison to the Skullgirl created if your sister were to wish on the heart. Oh boy. You'll never lay a finger on Umbrella. I'll destroy you and the Skull Heart both before that happens. After every memory of the Medici has been wiped from this world, you may kill me as you wish. Until then, I will fight you with all my power. Hey, hey, I'm here! Look at all of them! She's wobbuffetting, as usual. Egret's attack! What? Where did they come from? Umbrella, no, you can't be here. I totally can. Watch me. Look at how here I am. Look at how here I am right now. Umbrella, listen. Ah, uh, we're not doing this again. You have to listen now. Oh, she's look at her. She's using the move that's specifically really good. It causes her to get stunned. I love it. Take care of your sister. Or take care of your sister. We'll handle the skull girl. Egret's charge. Look at him go. No, I can still fight. Look how bad you're hurt. Of course you can't fight. This is nothing. If I don't fight, who will keep you safe? If you sacrifice yourself, I won't have any family left. How are we going to have family time if you're dead? You said you'd never leave me. Did you think about that, dummy? No, Umbrella, I... Of course I won't leave you alone. I'm sorry that I almost did. You're super cool, sis, but you can't be cool if you're dead. Who's going to protect me if that happens? You need someone to protect you, too. That's why I'm here. That's why I've got hunger. No, look at them go! They're chibi! Ah! Look out, we we can't hold her back. Yo, yo, it's like, I love the the having the umbrella in there. I mean, of course, that's that's the wrong word, but you know, use having her uh, parasol there in the foreground. I love it. It gives it depth. It's like a 3DS game. Don't worry, this time we'll protect each other. Come on, sis. I just can't win with you, can I? Then let's fight together. Yeah, 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 let's go. <laughs> she's she's so hilarious. Very cool napalm pillar, okay. Okay. Hey, I dare you. I wanted to reflect them. Wow, that did really good on her, huh? I've fought her so many times that like it's it's pretty pretty like whatever. Okay. I say that as I'm starting to get hit here, but Okay, so wait, I need to I need to tap it to get to eat. Okay. Shouldn't have done that. Ow. Wait, I need to do the... I, I'm trying to do the, the, the Chun-Li kicks on her. Come on. Come on. That's what I want. You can just go back and forth with that. It's so good. See, she did the finishing blow. It's all good, right? Nothing bad's gonna happen? I see. So your will was stronger than mine. You remind me of someone who used to be very important to me. 
Maybe that's why I can't bring myself to keep fighting. Yeah, I can see the connection between her and, uh, and Peacock there. Honestly, you didn't seem that into it in the first place. What did you wish for that turned out to be so wrong? My wish to destroy the Medici, to make them pay for everything they did to me and to my friends. Or was it? Either way, I somehow don't feel like fighting anymore. Yeah, no more fighting. Hope you get to rest now. Ow, something feels weird. Oh! Umbrella, my sweet daughter, you've grown so strong. It's finally time. Mom, is that really you? Ow, something in my chest really hurts. Come with me and say the words. If you wish it, I can be with you again. Really sounds good. I wish. <laughs> Don't do it! Hunger and parasol? What's going on? Wait, what was I doing? Who are you? You're not mom! Oh? You bear a blood, child. Come to me, I can fix everything. That family you've always wanted can be yours. Mom, I want to see you so much. But you're not my mom, you're just a skull, so shut up. All you do is trick people and think they can solve everything the easy way. If you want people to make pure wishes, you're not very good at it. What are you really after? No. What is this? This child shouldn't be strong enough to... Hunger and help. Let's smash this stupid thing. Hunger and protect the miller! Parasol, let's do this. Right behind you. Cry, Krieg. I forgot the name of hers. Yo, cool! Sick! Oh, bollocks! You will be ours! Yay! We did it! You, me, and Hunger! I don't believe it. Did we really just defeat the Skull Girl? See, if we work together, nothing bad has to happen. We can have our cake and eat it too. I'm so sorry, Umbrella. I wanted to protect you from harm so badly, I forgot about everything else. I'm sorry too. I know it was a big brat for running away when you were just trying to protect me. I know you care about me. I care about you too. Let's not forget that again, okay? Okay, I promise. All right, is everyone else okay? Where's Carol? Hey, she's here. <sighs> I'm fine. The egrets have taken, been taken care of me. Oh, goodness, who is this poor child? This is Carol. She's my new friend. She's the victim of a horrible experiment that made her look super cool. Can she sleep over tonight? I think we owe her a lot more than just a sleepover, but I suppose it's a start. It's okay. I should find Philia. I know she's out there somewhere looking for me. Uh, duh, of course, she can come too, right, Parasol? I suppose it wouldn't be too different, difficult for the Egrets to find her. Yay, slumber party! It's gonna be so much fun! Adam, give them an escort home and send the team to find this Philia. The rest of you, we've got a mess to clean up. Oh, no, you don't. You're coming too. But I have to... What happened to sister time? It's medically necessary for you to learn how to have fun now before it's too late. We can take it from here, Commander. You've had a long day. <sighs> I can't win if everyone gangs up on me, can I? All right, Umbrella, if you insist, I'll try my best. Yay, look at everyone! <laughs> and that's how I saved the day, with a lot of help from my sister and my new friends. <laughs> and hunger and two. Jeez, I was just getting to you. Anyway, the moral of the story is if you mess around and get into fights all the time, eventually everything is okay in the end. Violence solves everything! Hooray for violence! <laughs> I like the way you think, kid. Don't encourage her, Samson. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, she... Oh, my God. She put a little cozy. Carol put a little cozy on her blades. That's adorable. That's so cute. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, I love it. I'm not so sure about that. I think violence causes more problems than it solves. But sis always solves problems with violence. Hey, sis, tell them about how cool violence is. I really haven't been seeing a good example, have I? How about tonight we try having some fun instead of glorifying violence? We're having fun right now, aren't we? You're smiling. Really, I am? You are. See, you can do it if you try. I guess we could watch any of the stars if you get really bored, but that show puts me to sleep. We don't have to do that. I've never heard of the show or its adorable heroine. But you always watch it late at night when I think you're when you think I'm in bed. Annie? Oh, right, that kid's show. Didn't we watch it when you were in grade school, Carol? I used to love that show. Are you a fan too? No, no, no. I'm never going to live this down. See, you're having fun. Isn't it great? If I knew this was going to be embarrassing, I would have stayed to clean up skeletons in New Meridian. 
Ah, forget about being embarrassed, just have fun. It's sister time, and I'm happy you're my sister. Even if you're a dork who likes kids shows. I'm glad you're my sister too, even if you're a big brat. Ah, see, I'm smiling. I'm smiling. It was so good. Yeah. I think I did like Annie's story more. But this this was a this was a very happy story for for something that like kind of just like Skullgirl's stories usually do not go happy at all. Uh so for this to be for this to go this way, I'm like, yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed uh the the writing and the art and everything. Yeah, good stuff. I'm very happy. Um the voices, of course, like I said, they are the the, the more are coming later for sure, right? Um so I'm I'm excited to see I'm just I, I the it's the side characters I'm always like, hmm. Black Dahlia is Wendy Lee. I'm excited for more Wendy Lee for sure. That's going to be good. A lot of Cassandra Lee Morris's, of course, right? It's funny. You're looking through here and you're like, yep, that's a lot of a lot of similar people. Um, ongoing Skullgirl Spell will be possible. Yay. All right. Well, I'm going to... Skip. I'll just hold the button. That was fun, though. That was good. Um, there was... A, a, so the interesting thing is... She's known as one of the canon story characters. So is Black Dahlia, and so is Marie. So the last character is going to be Marie. It's got to be, I feel like. Uh, which is going to be interesting, of course, to sort of see how a playable version of her is. And uh, I am excited to to see. Okay, can I, I think select? There we go. I knew, there's always a post credits. This is a surprise. I didn't even think the Skull Girl nearly destroying all New Meridian would be enough for you to, to uh, for you to risk leaving your chambers. Still, we just finished giving Carol a makeover. Perhaps you would do us the honor of joining in on our fun. A royal invitation. I'm flattered, but I must decline. While I have faith in your abilities, I would I would fail you all as a canvas. Ah, uh, to have my old hair back. It would have been a sight to see you in ringlets. But please do not let me do, let me interrupt. Shall I bring more stacks upstairs? Hunger has likely looked up every crumb. For once, hunger actually seems sated, though who can say that will last? Still, no reprimand, no diatribe, or no responsibilities as heir to the kingdom. I won't say Umbrella beat you to it. I'm just relieved you both returned home safe, though I wish I could have heard Umbrella's words myself. I imagine what it reminded me of some of the grand lectures you, you gave in your youth. Who is, she who is she talking to? Please, I wasn't that bad at her age. I was well-mannered, responsible, and my criticisms were both detailed and highly actionable. As I recall, you were also the commander of a full regiment of any of the star's official action figures. Ah, how quickly children grow. Who is she talking with? I'm embarrassed enough by my behavior today, let alone by how I acted when I was 11. Sometimes it feels as if I haven't grown at all. I'm still just a child playing at being leader. Hey, it's how it feels. Far from it, Parasol, we, we realize your potential for greatness then. For someone so young to understand the magnitude of what it takes to rule is quite as a rare quality. So... Today, I'm relieved and dare I say joyful. Umbrella has become uh, for you what you were so what you were for so many others. Someone who you will tell. I'm sorry. Why is this reading? Because I'm thinking and reading at the same time. Someone who will tell you the things that you need to hear, no matter how little you want to hear them. I can only look forward to the day that both of you together are lecturing me on what is best for the Canopy Kingdom. Ah, that day could be today if you're ready for it. I think there's no better time to be honest with Umbrella. No, not tonight. For a long time, I believed hiding myself would protect her. Oh! Oh, is the dad alive? Until the day she's ready to handle the burdens of the kingdom. But after seeing how strong and mature she's become, and how easily the two of you overcame that pride that led our family into tragedy after tragedy, I can see that day has already come. Yet tonight is not a night for me to intrude upon. What she needs most is you uh, now is you, her friends, and fond memories to cherish. You deserve an evening of sisters, not princesses. Whoa! Yo, he's a Dulahan! That's sick! But soon I want to see my daughter again when there's no need for secrets, no need for a king, and no need for me to be anyone but her father. Yo, I want him playable now! He's so cool! Yo! Yo, 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 yo! No freaking way, that's rad. Hey, wait, where's uh, Umbrella? Yo! Yo! 
Oh, interesting. I wonder why there's two versions. Is what I feel like I feel like this was placeholder and this is final design. Cause there was some stuff about how it wasn't finalized. Right? That's sick. That's sick. Oh right, let's see here. Okay, what's the differences? I'm trying to look for differences. Oh, the outfit. Oh yeah, 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 that's cute. I like how there's there's different ones there. So yeah, there there are a few that are the the beta ones, right? Oh, you get the background there. I like how you get to see that. Oh, there's there's her one there. No aging, aged one. I like that poster a lot. There, it's good. Some action shots in the rough ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Uh, before we go, though, there is one thing I do want to show off that's pretty cool. Um, go with versus CPU. Actually, wait. Am I on versus CPU? Yeah, versus... Um, no, single player CPU quick match. That's what we want. So there's a few things. One, there is a alternate voice line for her. Which, that's fun. So, the alternate voice pack is on. And if you do alternate voice pack and palette 30, you get a secret. And also, apparently, they changed Eliza's palette 18. I wonder how so. I'm just curious here. Let's see. They made it. They made it. Yes, they changed the color. They put the uh, they put the uh, the color changing on it. That's so cool. I look so much better. So yeah, we have the skull heart with us, and w and we shoot skulls out. There's a couple a couple places where uh, these skeletons appear. Like for example, the skulls there. That's cool. That's good. That's good. Okay, we got, I want to try and get her to her level her level three there. I love hearing her go. We blocked that. That's hilarious. Oh, dang, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, that's so fun, actually. That's a fun move. That's a fun DP. Oh, that's fun! Oh, wow, wow, that's fun. That, that's cool. I have a skeleton inside me, too. That's funny. Um, okay, before we go, let's take a look at the color palettes and uh, what specifically they're references to, because I'm actually not 100% sure with her. So let's go to... I'm just pulling up the wiki here so that I know for sure. Because uh, people people know what the palettes are, and I don't know what they all are. So let's see here. Okay, so... I'll just go quick match again. Alright, so we got specifically... <laughs> default! This is an original Player 2 color palette. Player 2 palettes for characters are always like, if they had an alternate color, this is what it would like, canonically be. Santa Claus and a Christmas tree. Ulala from Space Channel 5 and a Red Merolian, I see that. Original, black and yellow, that's on, they all have that. Though it looks like base a lot. Original reminds me of Lucky Charms. Seven is Parasol and Krieg, yeah, I see that, I see that. Eight is May and Mr. Dolphin, which, yeah, I see that too, right? Nine is Beowulf and Grendel, okay, yeah. Ten is Princess Peach and her Parasol, yep. 11 is Moana and Hey Hey from Moana. 12 is super obvious. If you can't tell what that is right away, you why are you here? That's Ash and Pikachu. Uh, 13 is Princess Tiana and Prince Naveen. 
14 is Hat Kid with her umbrella. 15 is original. I don't agree. That's pretty clearly another panty and stocking one. Maybe it's... Okay, it's, it's panty and stocking based, but it's like an original one, I guess. But it's meant to go with the panty and stocking colors, right? Uh, 16 is Gaz and Gur from Invader Zim. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a... I've never watched that, really. 17 is Amy Rose and her hammer. Yep, that's pretty obvious. 18 is question marks. I don't know what this is either. Is that the... No, Shenko's a later one. I know she has a Shenko one. 19 is original. Looks like Brock from Pokemon. 20 is apparently original. It looks like something. 21 is also apparently original. I get like Jack Frost vibes from Persona. 22 is a Chihiro and Haku from Spirited Away. Yeah, I can see that. That's Shenko. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and I think the umbrella is meant to be uh, Rikuo. It's come up as question marks, but it looks like Rikuo. 24. Yes, this is... Um, oh, no. 24 is a question mark. It looks too specific. This one's sick. It's Luka and Robo from Chrono Trigger. I love it. 26 is Roll from Mega Man. Yeah, wonderful. Wonder why the green, maybe it's meant to be like the ribbon. 27 is apparently another original palette. Okay. 28 is Iris and Axu from Pokemon. Yeah, okay. 29 is Neapolitan and Hush from Ruby. Sure. And then the her Skull Girl color. So that's pretty cool there. I like that. I love the Luca and Robo one though. Uh, but like, okay, so you go like... Like, if we wanted, we could go, like, for all three of them. Like, Parasol has her panty and stocking. And then the other one was... Was it Philia who had it? Yeah. And then I guess just complete the, the group. Right? I guess. Right? Sure. Okay. And we'll go with, uh... Was there, was there another palette that they added? For some reason, I think they added another palette. No, we've had these before, right? Yeah, we had most of these before there. Right? But this is just, just to sort of show, like, all three of them out. Oh, I picked a good stage. Oh, this is a new stage, right. The, um, the eSports arena stage. Yeah, so then you can get them both out and they all look good together, right? Good stuff. Yeah, there you go. That's cool. That looks cool together. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Well, this was heckin' fun doing some new Skull Girls content. I love this game so much. Um, we will obviously, when Black Dahlia first comes out, I want to give her a try, of course. Uh, play her in Alpha. There will probably be like this where I play her a bit and then go, yep, yeah, I'm good. And then wait till she comes out. But uh, we'll see who that last character is. I'm placing my bets. It's Marie because, again, it's for the canon story mode there. But uh, we, we will see. We will see. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys next time for some more Let's Play Skullgirls. I love this game so much. Ciao.